Great to be catching up again with Andrew Partridge from Michelle Wool for our weekly Wool Report. How are you, Andrew? Yeah, very well, Ricky. Thank you. Uh, and I'm sure you're feeling a lot better. Uh, I'm sure the sellers are feeling a lot better that things have levelled out on the price front. We've taken a big dive on the EMI. Yes, mate. Yeah, it hasn't been a very pretty sort of the last two weeks. Um, we've been blaming the currency. Obviously, break uh, over the break went up a fair bit. So all those US values um, were naturally higher, which you know makes Aussie wool cheaper uh, in Aussie terms. But um, yeah, just had a little bit more of a bright light this week. Market sort of seems to be levelling out, and um, a bit of Chinese export, which I also sort of look after it, you know, the greasy side of things. It, uh, more inquiry coming through sort of later in the week with the, and it had a bit of a drop in the currency as well. So, yeah, the market looks to be levelling out. Despite that tumble, though, it looks like we're sort of back to where we were around the same time last year. Yeah, interesting, yeah. When you look on the year on year, so the EMI, it's within seven cents only of the same, exactly the same time last year, which is a bit of a bit of a freak, freak thing at 1,342, unchanged for the week. Um, we had a little bit of movement up and down in the ranges, but again, like I say, minimal sort of changes, you know, plus five, plus 10, minus five. Uh, 20 microns, for instance, were just up to 16 cents to 13.20. Crossbreds sort of are up and down 5 cents. 28, 28 micron indicator just lost the 3 cents to 3.95. Been sitting there around that 400 cent for a fair while. And the cutting indicator, it sort of just lost the 6 cents, but it's even come off a bit in the last couple of weeks. Now, you've made clear in recent reports you've got a, your own views about whether we should be having this recess or break or not. We see this big sort of gulp of wool that needs to be, you know, coughed down by the market in the first couple of weeks. We saw it last year. We finally swallowed it this year? Yeah, that's right. I think we've swallowed it now. Uh, the roster's looking better now. Actually, next week um, we've only got two centres operating, I believe, so it's got no free amount on next week. Only 40,000 bales on the roster for next week. Back from 40, so we had six 60, you know, 60, which ended up being sort of 50, 55,000 bale sales the first few weeks, and then um, be back to 40 now. So that's a good number. It's obviously better for the sellers. Makes makes the buyers of wool have to, you know, be a bit more aggressive in their buying if they need to buy. So it's a better market all around when those lower volumes come forward for sure for the seller. Well, we're seeing, uh, I guess, a levelisation as well on the pass-in rates as well around to sort of the annual trend level each week by the looks of it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're back there. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is just the EMI in the US. It dropped 18 cents during the week, and um, on an average, it sort of likes to sit up around that $10 mark. But if you look at the graph there, it's sort of yeah. been going up and down 50 cents, um, and it's sort of sitting well back in the lower range now. So that if it spends too much time down in that lower sort of ranking, it's, it's sort of indicating a bit of a weakness in demand, and I, I hope that's not the case. So um, we'll, ha- we'll hang tight. We'll just set, hopefully it'll start pointing up back towards that $10 average mark. But um, sitting down at that 930 mark here yeah, in the last couple of years, it's, it's, it's a low. Well, a bit later in the uh, show, we'll actually be talking with uh, Bonnie Skinner from Sheep Producers Australia. They've flagged inflationary concerns in the US as a dampener on demand as something they're worried about. Uh, and I think that's sort of what you're indicating there, really, is that uh, that's got people in the doldrums on the on the EMI side. Yeah, we're, we're playing, obviously, with the extra volumes, uh, which to sent the market down. Um, the next coup, we obviously shearing pattern in the spring obviously follows up again. So this is the time of year we have the most volume. So we, um, yeah, just got to be a little bit cautious. I don't think all is rosy, um, but I can, you know, you can see the price in US terms is still quite good. So if there's any sort of demand out there, it'll transfer pretty quickly into the wool market. All right. Well, we'll um, as we do catch up with you next Friday about how that's all progressed. Um, Andrew, thank you very much for joining us, Andrew Partridge from Michelle Wool. Cheers, Ricky.